What's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. We have got hands-on video. First time ever of the iPhone 12, the official casing. We can see a LiDAR sensor. It's the 6.1 inch Pro model. We don't usually see stuff like this leak out, but with mass production just beginning, you know, uh, like the phone's actually being made, we're starting to see a little bit more. We also have some other news for the iPhone 12. Some news that I have been dreading to report, but uh, I find it my civic duty to do so. So drop a like if you guys are excited. Hit subscribe for more. We're less than a month away from these phones pretty much coming out. So I mean, we're getting near the end and let's talk about the latest leaks. All right, I wanna get the bad news out of the way. Just when I had your hopes up, just when I thought there was some hope left in the world, the iPhone 12 Pro will not have a 120 Hertz display. That is correct. After everything, for this phone, after what feels like a lifetime of me saying it's gonna, it's gonna have the high refresh rate screen to be competitive with Android phones, it's going to be 120 hertz, it's gonna be buttery smooth, double the refresh rate of the current iPhones that we've always had. It's not actually coming according to John Prosser. Now, John's credibility took a hit recently based on a couple of bad calls. However, I think he's right on this one because everyone else is reporting the same thing, like no 120 hertz on the iPhone 12, which led me to tweet, what is the point of these phones? So Apple has obviously four phones coming out. They have the two lower end iPhone 12s, one 5.4 and 6.1 inch model, and then the higher end iPhone 12 Pros, one 6.1 and one 6.7 inch model. Now, without 120 hertz, if they're all 60 hertz OLED displays, why would you buy the pros? Like why is Apple in 2020 gonna be selling a $1,000 phone that isn't competitive with some $700 Android phones as far as the display technology itself? So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Apple's gonna somehow pull it out? I mean, everyone at this point is saying it's not coming. So yet again, we've been waiting on this for like three years. No 120 Hertz on the iPhone 12 Pro. For the first time in a while though, for the iPhone 12, we don't have all bad news today, which is absolutely fantastic. In fact, defying all the odds, uh, in an exclusive shared by Everything Apple Pro, we actually have our first ever look at the final design of the iPhone 12 Pro. I'll leave a link to the original video and the tweet down below. This was shared on Twitter earlier today. It is not a fully functional unit uh, made by Apple and assembled. It is also not a dummy unit made by a third party. My understanding is that this is a chassis from the assembly line. I don't know how somebody got one of these, but like this is the final design for the iPhone 12 Pro. And you can see it, it doesn't look like an old iPhone. Like this is the design we've been hearing about. The squared off edges similar to the iPad Pro, the same triple camera setup on the Pro line as we saw last year when it debuted on the iPhone 11 Pro series 2019. Uh, there are a couple of adjustments though. The biggest one that we can see aside from the literal phone design changing is the the presence of a LiDAR sensor on the rear. You can see it's here, it's uh, black, and we didn't know exactly how Apple was gonna position it, so this is like the final design for the camera layout. Some of us thought it would sort of have like four giant lenses. No, it's gonna be basically like the 2020 iPad Pro LiDAR, how it's just sort of situated next to or below a camera lens, depending on how you look at it. Now, a LiDAR sensor, I know I've, I've mentioned that before. What does it actually do? basically shoots a laser, it's called the time of flight technology, uh, at the wall and then the laser bounces back. And they calculate how long it takes that laser to go there and back, and then they can know exactly how far away something is. So we're thinking for autofocus, this is gonna help a lot, potentially for something like portrait mode video, where you can really tell the depth, like because you have this laser shooting out, it's not uh, an AI guessing, you've got technology saying this is exactly how far away something is. So for computational photography, you can you know, know a lot more about what you're shooting and for the end user, like autofocus will be quicker. You might be able to snap in and out of like rack focus a, a little bit more effectively. I, I'm not sold on the LiDAR sensor, Apple is. Um, they think it's gonna come into play a lot for the Apple AR glasses. I don't know, I don't use it on my iPad Pro. Um, and for this again to be like a flagship feature for the iPhone 12 Pro and no 120 hertz, 
I'm not seeing the vision yet. Usually every year I feel like there's a clear vision, like this is why, you know, the triple camera is why you buy the Pro. That's what Apple said in 2019. However, I think this phone looks pretty fresh. I think the design, the exterior housing is, is phenomenal. I cannot wait to see what this looks like, not only in the new rumored midnight blue color, which is confirmed across the board now, Midnight Blue, replacing Midnight Green as the new colorway on the iPhone 12 Pro line. Uh, Mark Gurman, Everything Apple Pro, John Prosser, everybody's saying it. On the inside of this, you can see what looks to be the same magnetic cutout that we heard about a few weeks back, potentially for a wireless charger so that the phone could perfectly snap on. It sort of looks like a, re a reverse power button and there's evidence again that around the wireless charger, that is where it's going to sit. Now, everything is speculation as far as what the, the magnetic stuff might do, but it's, it's pretty interesting that it's there. Who knows if it's just a pro feature, maybe this is you know the other part of the pro story that we can't figure out yet, because you can't tell off of a picture. Like you have to know what Apple's gonna do with it. A couple of other things I've seen as well is that the SIM card tray seems to have switched sides of the phone. Uh, perhaps Apple has messed around a lot with the internals of the iPhone 12. I would assume so because there also seems to be a cutout for the 5G antenna. Obviously 5G is a huge selling point for all of these iPhones. And uh, it seems like that has been a huge, huge priority for Apple this year, even though, I mean, I can't speak about your country, but like in the US, I feel like 5G is just kind of a cluster bomb right now. Like, I don't even think it's in my area, and if it is, it's like fake or like the same as 4G. I don't know, 5G is a discussion for another day, but like Apple has made sure that these phones are at least future-proofed in that regard, that they will have 5G. And of course, the other part of this that I am just, I am hoping, I am, I am uh, putting stones in my garden close to each other in a certain pattern uh, in the effort that this happens. You'll notice there's one really big part of these phones that we haven't seen yet, and that is the front. The notch, huh, haven't thought about that. Haven't had that fever dream in a couple nights. Listen, I know the last leaks said that the notch is gonna be the same size as it was on the iPhone 10 series from 2017 onward, but I don't believe it. I cannot believe the fact that Apple will sell a phone for a thousand plus dollars with the only improvements being LiDAR, 5G, a faster processor, because those are the main upgrades that we're hearing. If the notch is the same size and there's no 120 hertz display on these, and there is no 120 hertz display on these, why will you buy an expensive iPhone this year? I, I really think Apple is gonna have to work on justifying that because after everything I'm seeing right now, there is no reason for anybody, unless you're an Apple super fan, to buy the most expensive iPhone. Like there's really no value added. We don't know about the notch. It could go either way. It could stay the same size. It could get smaller. In, in my heart, I feel like it's gotta get smaller because if it doesn't, it's just gonna put Apple in a really bad spot. It's gonna make them look like they haven't really done anything over the past three years. And uh, in, in a world where like, you can't really do that, I'm not sure how that's gonna play out for them. Oh, and this is on top again of no charger and no headphones in the box. This iPhone 12 year, this release, this cycle is the most interesting that I've ever seen on my time in YouTube. Because at a time where people like you and me want more and more from our phones, Apple seems to be sitting back and seeing how far they can push not innovating, how far they can push us to still buy the new iPhone every year without changing much. Um, these are just the latest leaks and rumors. And again, we won't know any of this for sure for another month, but these are my thoughts now. And uh, I'd love to hear yours down below. iPhone 12, that's, that's where we're at. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below and hit subscribe for more. This is uh, the iPhone 12 special update. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Catch you cool cats in my next video. Peace out.